What's up everyone? Look what I got here. What do I got here? I got some ninja sticks. I don't know. So what I really got is the Danko bait stick. Did you know the Danko invented and made the bait stick? I didn't know them. Heck, I work with them all the time. So I went and got myself one of these Danko bait sticks. They come in two pieces. You can order them on the website, all right? DankoPliers.com. Use what? Code Chef Outdoors 10. Save 10%, all right? Anyway, go to the website. Use code Chef Outdoors 10. Save 10%. Get yourself a Danko bait stick. Go check it out. But what I'm going to show you here today is well, how do I put this thing together? It comes to you like this, right? Anyway, this is there's a spinning version and a bait cast version. You can tell by the eye on the rod. This is the spinning version, all right? You put the rod together just like so. I can show you that right here. Again, you put it together just like so, okay? And then you grab any old rod and any old reel you got lying around, or you can buy a reel. Uh, they don't make the reel for it. You'd have to buy it separately, but I got an old spinning reel sitting in my garage. Put it on you see me doing it right oh yeah we got it on okay and then you're like wow that's great they make a bait stick now what do i do whoa there's more right there's more what is it what they make the sabiki kit too all right danko pliers.com chef outdoors 10 save what 10 percent at checkout anyway they make the sabiki rig all right pretty cool and it's actually made for their bait rod and what do i mean by that well it's got the bait the hookers it's got the leads for the sabiki rig got a whole back of sabiki rigs right here and it also has some circle hooks for when you're live baiting but wait there's more okay i took it out of the pack already so i could show you okay maybe not i might not get it out of my pocket all right but wait there's more what do they make they make this what is this this is a little bitty thin piece of lead and you're like what the crap is that for that's not heavy enough to hold down a sabiki no that is for getting your line through the pole because there's this little bitty eye right here you put the line through here you put it through here and it drops down to the pole you put your line through here and your line through here and it drops down to the end of the pole all right but what you got to do is you got to tie your line on to this little lead so what we're going to do is we're going to take this little bitty itty little lead they got here it's got a little eyelid on it and we're just gonna be quiet bird i'm trying to film here man all right we're gonna sit here and uh it doesn't have to be a great knot just a knot through the end of the lead shush anyway it's my bird friend his name's fred he comes to visit all the time so we put a little knot okay probably cut off I, i'm a horrible bad knot tire apparently i should just tie good knots because that was horrible anyhow we're gonna tie a bad knot now because the first one not so good all right so anyway you probably want to do this at home before you get on the boat because you're like oh crap there's bait under the boat you know probably should you know have it done anyway bad knot it's good if only i had a pair of pliers you know anybody Puh. anyway so pretty cool what you do <clears throat> it's probably even better to pull it apart maybe someday if i figure it out ah, you pull it apart all right pretty cool right look at it okay well we just lost the whole pole and it's done Oh, uh, no work. Time out. Okay, well, don't throw half the bait stick off the boat, okay? Because now, now I'm swimming for my bait stick. But anyway, it's here. So we're going to get back in the boat, and we're going to rig this up right. Okay, fat guy, little boat. Here we go. Okay, turn it up. I'm almost in. Okay, I'm back in the boat. Yes, I'm all wet. So, future reference, don't. Throw half the bait stick in the water before you get it together. Okay, back to where we're gonna set this right here. Okay, okay. Put any old reel on that you may have, and you're gonna put it through the eye right there. Okay, and then there's a the little guide hole right there. This little weight is made to perfectly go through that hole. Skadoosh! It is out the hole. So now I'm gonna reel it up a little bit assembly you just you know there you go so we're gonna put their lead through the top half of the pole all right you just want to weight it down in there all right boom okay gonna open the bell and it's gonna fall out the tip check it out all right there it is out the tip here's the lead now we got a bait stick that's ready to use all it needs is a sabiki all right so if you didn't go swimming 
you did better than I did. All right, back. So the line's through with my special uh, bait stick lead. I got my Danko kit and let's rig one up. So the beautiful thing about this is that it comes with everything you need. It comes with the hooks to catch the fish. It comes with the leads. So I'm gonna get a lead out because you know I like to put the lead on right away. Set it down, I'm gonna get a sabiki rig out. The Danko sabiki rig, you didn't even know Danko made sabiki rigs, did you? Anyhow, so I'm gonna cut the line. If anybody knows a good plier company, let me know. Okay, and because you know, my dentist is not happy with me. Anyhow, so sabiki rig. So if I'm using a spinning pole when I tie my sabiki rigs, a lot of times I put a bead on top of the sabiki rig so I don't reel it into my guides. But with the Danko bait, st bait stick, the Danko bait stick, you don't have to worry about that. Just reel dried right into the rod. You can wash the rig off, and it keeps it uh, from hooking everything. So I'm gonna tie a knot onto the top of the sabiki rig, right there. Okay, awesome. Cinch it down. Again, if you guys know a plier company. Anyway, so. I take the snap swivel side, so here's the rig, okay? I got the one side tied to my bait stick, I got the other side with the snap out, and I, I actually like to put the lead on my snap now, and the reason is, it helps me keep the rig straight when I'm taking it out of the package, okay? So, make sure you dispose of these, don't let them go out in the ocean. Just take off one strand at a time, so it doesn't get all tangled up. See how the lead helps me keep the rig straight? It's a beautiful thing, okay? And last but not least, I'm gonna get rid of my plastic so it doesn't blow away. I got a straight rig. So all I gotta do now is reel it up and it is on my bait stick. See, look at that. All right, so the rig is right here, okay? So anyway, the line comes out the top of the bait stick right there, okay? Onto the sabiki rig. We got the nice hook all included in the packaging and I just put an old spinner I had in there, okay? So you bait fishing, you're going out, you're dropping it down, right? Okay, you're jigging for your bait, bump, 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 bump. You hook your bait, you're done. You bring it in, you tuck it under your arm, and then you can go with your bait dehooker and unhook every bait. When you're done, sabiki rigs get snagged on everything. So with the bait stick, it reels right into the pole without getting snagged, and you're done. All right, so now look. So when you go home, you got your bait rig, when you go home, you got your bait rig all self-contained in the pole. You can store it in the deck, you can store it in the rod holder. Nobody gets hooked, okay? And then to wash it, you just squirt the hose down inside the pole from the top or the bottom, and you wash your whole sabiki rig and you get to use it again for next time. So that, that's some pretty smart technology. I tell you what, it's good to have a bait stick on the boat. You can keep them in here. You just got a good old reel you don't mind beating up. You can go catch your own bait, all right? Make sure you check them out, denkoplyers.com. Chef Outdoors 10 saves you 10%.